Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this trail in Kaneohe. The name of the trail is Pu Paelieli. It's hard to say even for me that I've been here for about 21 years now. And I got to say that even though I was living in Kaneohe for, for a while, I wasn't aware of this trail because it was so hard to find. Uh, I do remember when I used to go on our jogs, I would run past this entrance and I just wasn't, I just didn't realize what kind of a trail it was. And so one day while we had some of our workwares visiting, uh, we decided to do it. I did a little bit of research on it and uh, a lot of people recommended not to go after the rain because kind of it rains a lot and uh, this trail has a lot of steep hills. And so if you go right after the rain, you're gonna have trouble kind of getting uh, some traction. Uh, so one, make sure that uh, you go maybe in the morning uh, even though it's covered most of the time if you go in the afternoon it doesn't the sun's not gonna be beating down on you but it does get humid because it's all really heavy kind of brush um, not the path but around it and so it gets really humid and hot so the best time to go for me I think is uh, in the morning and after a day where it hasn't rained and so that way you avoid uh, hurting yourself from slipping or getting too hot and uh, dehydrated now I went with the, both my daughters uh, this was last year so uh, they were four years old and seven years old and even though the four-year-old was a little bit slow she was able to get to the top by herself I had to kind of assist on the really steep hills where they have ropes for you to climb but besides that it was easy for her and just make sure you bring enough water and uh, and make sure you bring a camera because the view at the end of this thing is amazing you got a 180 degree view of the Kola mountains to your left you got Kaneohe Bay and Marine Corps Base on the right. Everything in the middle, it's the sandbar, which is famous in Kaneohe. You can see coral, it's just really nice. If you go on a sunny day, the water is gonna be amazing. The color is just, it just pops so much. The water is so clear, you can see all the way through to the coral reefs, there's, there, there's circles that you can see where the coral is uh, formed. It's really nice and it's definitely a hike that I recommend. It's very family friendly. So within the trail, there's a couple of really steep areas, uh, but it's not too crazy. It's definitely doable even by little kids or older people. Uh, the hard part is finding it. And the trick to finding it is uh, when you go down to Kaneohe, you go to the Temple Valley, which has the uh, Bioto Inn Temple. There's a McDonald's in the corner. So you just find parking somewhere on that McDonald's. Uh, there's a movie theater with a really big parking lot. So I would recommend parking there. And then you can go down to the intersection where the uh, Temple Valley is on your right. You can walk back towards the highway and it's gonna be on the left by where the rails are. You're gonna cross the rail right at the end and then you're, you're gonna see the entrance right there. That's probably the most confusing part about it, uh, but once you get in there, it's very obvious what the trail is. Now, the whole way through, it's so heavy that you're not gonna see a lot of scenery when you're walking through the hike, but once you get to the top, it's, the payoff is definitely high. I'm even gonna put the address here on the screen so you can see it. It's gonna be 279 Kahekili Highway, in Kaneohe, Hawaii, 96744. Before I forget, let me tell you that it's a 3.4 kilometer trail and it covers about 160 meters of elevation so it's not too crazy uh, I'm not an avid hiker so I, it was pretty easy for me and so if you're somebody that hikes all the time this might be too easy but I think you'll be able to appreciate the view at the end so anyways that's it really short video uh, if you like this video please hit the like button also hit the notification button so that when uh, new videos pop up you get notified if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.